Today I'm gonna start building my very own herb garden and <laughs> to be completely honest I actually don't have no idea what I'm doing but I think that's just part of it and you just have to start somewhere. But I thought I would bring you along the journey and maybe you will learn something too. I'm gonna start on my own and then I'm actually driving one and a half hours away from here to visit a girl called Ida. She is, is what I would call the guru when it comes to herb gardening. So this is the area I'm gonna try to transform today. So create a garden from this edge over there, all the way up there, from that tree, hopefully down to that tree. Now I'm done clearing the area. Took a, like about an hour almost. Uh, now I'm taking out these planks and I'm gonna start building the boxes or the, the herb garden beds. I'm done with the first four pieces, so now I'm gonna try to get them to stick together, I guess, somehow. And see if they match. That will be a bit of a benefit. Four boxes are done. I'm not exactly sure about the placement though, so I might rearrange it. But before I do that, I'm gonna wor start working on something that is not really necessary, but it's gonna make the space into something very unique and hopefully quite beautiful.
Now I'm actually done with the entrance or the portal to the herb garden and it turned out actually way better than I thought it would and I'm actually really proud. And the next thing that's going to happen with this portal is that I'm going to plant some plants down here called humle in Swedish. Um, and they're really good at climbing, if that makes sense. So they're going to climb up these metal um, nets and then create more of a green portal. They can grow several meters a summer, so we'll see how far they get. Now I'm on my way to one of our neighbors, or it's technically not a neighbor, it's uh, about 20 minute, 20 minute walk. Uh, I asked her if she have a specific plant that I'm really looking for and she had it. So I'm gonna head over there and take some of her plants, I guess. I love the fact that you can just take a walk over to a neighbor's house and then get a helping hand. I honestly believe that this is how we're supposed to live. More in a sense of community instead of trying to compete with each other. Because without these neighbors out here, I wouldn't have come close to as far as I've come thanks to them. I've said this many times before in my videos, but when I lived in the city, I was surrounded by like a million people, but I still felt lonely. And out here, we're surrounded by a few people that live in this small village. And I feel way more welcome, way more a part of a community. Now I've filled the four boxes with cardboard that is going to act like a barrier and also break down during time. So on top of this I'm going to add all the grass clippings and other stuff from branches and then on top of that I'll add dirt. So since our pond has kind of, kind of dried out, I can now access at the bottom of the pond. So I thought I would take some mud and some dirt from there. I have no idea if that's like the most genius move ever or just really stupid. Maybe you can let me know in a comment down below. I can't fix it, but at least I know it until next time. I think it's time for me to head over to Ida and her her herb garden now because I need some serious help in trying to understand what I should plant here and also why. It was about one and a half hours drive to get to Näsåker, the village where Ida lives. Ida has been working on this garden for over three years now. You can really tell that it's just filled with both love and knowledge. 
Ida is actually a teacher and she has started a course called Läkeväxter in Swedish. Healing plants is the rough translation I would say. So I knew she would be kind of the perfect person to ask about my own herb garden. Jag vet inte det kokade ett te nu. Som var kamomill och frösso, frossört. Mm, okej. Okay. Jag tänkte så här som jag inte är så jättebekväm framför kameran kanske jag blir lite nervös. <laughs> Den här tycker jag är väldigt fin också. Alltså så hade det någon typ av entré. Det var väldigt tydlig. Ja, men jag tog med mig ett eh, foto på hur det såg ut när jag började med örtagården. Så jag liksom det här är örtagården, hur den såg ut för tre år sedan. Eller det är ju inte riktigt en örtagård än, men det är liksom själva skalet. Och det ser ut som sand, men det är egentligen bara väldigt torr, torr jord. Kan du visa mig runt lite igen? För att se vad vi, har att, vad vi har att jobba med. Absolut, ja, det är väldigt många örter. 77 örter räknade jag. 77, okej. Okay. 77 olika arter räknade jag förra året. Cirkeln är ju en, en fin symbol på något sätt för, för det cykliska livet. Död, återfödelse, liv. Jag tänker att det var som den, den symboliken som jag drogs till. Att det finns liksom ingen början, inget slut. Det är en, som en cyklisk rörelse. Ja, men en annan sak som jag tänker är, är bra att fundera över innan man startar det är hur mycket, hur mycket tid har jag och hur mycket arbetsinsats vill jag lägga på min örtagård så att man kan också så här, kanske ja, men fundera kring det, skriva några rader kring det och sen utvärdera ja, men hur många plantor vill jag ha då och hur vill jag att örtagården ska se ut. Det här är ju ett jättebra råd som jag är sämst på, för jag gör ju alltid för mycket. <laughs> <laughs> men, men jag kan ju säga det till andra så kanske det är någon som snappar upp det. I've spent over five hours now here with Ida and just trying to suck up all the knowledge that I can. But it's time for me to head on to my own garden and start applying what I've learned. Nej, 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 Tack, nej, hej, kuss, gå väck, gå väck, tack. Kan jag ha dem för två sekunder när du spelar med dem? This basil I actually got from my uh, sister on my 35th year birthday about two weeks ago. So it's kind of a kind of a perfect gift. I never wish for anything, or I very rarely wish for anything when I uh, have a birthday. But she found so, somehow found a a loophole and a very good one. It's kind of fun to have her gift. Got to grow here in the garden. have some green kale that I got from my mom or it's technically it is green kale but it's <laughs> kind of purplish so here's more traditional green kale that's also gonna be planted but I got two red ones if you want to call them that or purple ones and then one normal green one They like it here. So I've started covering the markväv, as we call it in Sweden, like the plastic that covers the ground outside of the boxes. I started covering that with something called uh, techbark. It's like 
bark yeah this with this and I bought like three bags and then I realized this is gonna be <laughs> crazy expensive if I'm gonna cover the whole garden with this so I actually reached out to the neighborhood neighborhood around here I checked in with some people and I hit the mother load so this one guy had a whole pile of this it's laying around so I literally filled up the entire trailer and I've started to fill out the the garden as well and I also extended it uh, way longer because I realized four boxes is not gonna be enough So when I moved out here about five years ago, there was a lot of random stuff that I saved. And these, these are one of those things. These are actually the frames of a very old wagon. I think it was a horse wagon that we found like deep inside the forest. The wagon couldn't be saved or salvaged, uh, but the, the metal frames were, and I thought, this could be useful one day, maybe. <laughs> so I've now saved them for five years and now I have found a purpose for them. Well, it wouldn't be a Swedish summer if it didn't start <laughs> raining. It started like pouring down really. Uh, so I put on my rain jacket and, and finished this, this thing right here. And it turned out really good. I'm surprisingly happy about it. And I also like the idea of mixing different shapes and materials. So having the round one here in metal, and then, then having the rectangles over there in wood. And then I'm thinking in the future maybe putting like a corner down there with just made of stones. So. Yeah, I like the idea of mixing different materials and shapes. I think that adds to the creative space that is a garden. Since I couldn't film this when it was raining so much, I thought I would show you. I thought this turned out a bit too low when I just put the, the iron frames on the, the floor. So I actually raised them up a bit with some bricks. That's so bricks all the way around to raise it up a, yeah, almost a decimeter or something. And I think that turned out a bit Turn out a bit better actually. to do two people. I don't, I don't know, know how, how to uh, assist.
Sun. If you like what I share here on YouTube, which I'm guessing you're doing because you're still around here watching, I have two recommendations for you. Number one is my very own newsletter, which is, yeah, it's technically a newsletter, but it's actually more of a public journal where I share my internal thoughts and feelings. And I also include something called Top Free, where I share my latest book recommendations, latest movies or series I've been watching, and music and so on. So if you want to check that out, there's a link down in the description and it will take you to all the previous newsletters that I've already published so far. It's almost like a in a blog format. The second recommendation I have is to check out my ebook called Find Your True North. And I wrote that book because I wish I had something like that when I made the transition from city to a more yeah, li simple lifestyle in a cabin. And it's not necessarily that kind of transition you're looking to make. It's just if you're interested in making a change in your life in any direction, this is the perfect roadmap for that change. I filled the ebook with my very best challenges, my life lessons, a whole toolbox of things you can use, and you're also getting access to a very exclusive community that only people that have bought the ebook get access to. So if you want to check that out, there's a link down in the description. Would you look at that? We have a garden with a very pretty entrance, if I may say so myself. So the four boxes here. And then a little round thing here as well. I'm gonna put something over here as well, but that's for the future. Thank you so much for joining me on this little garden adventure. If you have any ideas on what you wanna see next on this channel, just let me know in a comment down below and until we talk or see each other next time, take care. I love you guys. Mwah.